Okay, so here's what we got. We got our wing supports that we are going to do powder coat on. So these are our supports that we made for the drag wing, um, and we are going to use the Harbor Freight powder coater. Now I'm not great at this, but I'm gonna basically show you how I how I did it. I, how I do it. I have done uh, my seat brackets in my uh, Comet, you know, with powder coat, so they turned out pretty decent. Uh, basically, all you gotta do is get a ground hooked up. Uh, and the air pressure, you know, right, and then dust on the powder. That's the gist of it. So what we are using is this just normal traditional powder coater. Okay, so this is from Harbor Freight um, powder coating system. You got the gun and the ground lead and pretty much everything with it. I do have a filter on it for to try to keep water from spraying out of it, but uh, I haven't had the best of luck with this thing but i always get it done every single time i do one but we're going to get at it and get these little pieces powder coated instead of painting them um so let's get this hooked up and um i'll show you how to do it and then for the powder coat that we're shooting i laid it down somewhere y'all so for the powder coating we're using we're going to use a matte black powder coat and um get it on there let me show you how all right, y'all, bear with me on the air noise. I have a piece of crap fitting because I don't ever use this thing. You plug it in and you turn it on. I have my piece grounded to my part. Um, before I used, before I, the last piece I powder coated, the wires that I bit, the little hooks I bit, I actually grounded it to the rack and the hook and the ground traveled through the hook to the part and grounded itself out. But now everything's powder coated so it won't have a good ground so i actually you i'm gonna just have to clip it to the part i don't know how the professionals do it but you got to have a ground on the part that you're dusting so i'm gonna have to move my ground to each of these and just make sure you get a good even dusting um, it's not always as easy as you think it's actually a pain in the butt And don't get your gun too close to it, or it will spark. And I just kind of shake mine to get the powder out. Because the powder like, never wants to come out. For me. This stuff is so messy that it's unreal. But I kind of wanted to powder coat these instead of just painting them. Why, I don't know. Whenever I actually do this, I always ask myself why. And you just want to make sure you got good, decent coverage. All the hoses and stuff are so annoying compared to painting. Like I get used to the painting process. But then when you think you got it, and I'm not gonna record all these pieces. Okay, now we're gonna check it and get a light. I'll probably time lapse everything, but just check over your part. Like it's still a little thin on the inside. The face of it's pretty good, you know, but the inside of it is still a little thin, but I think I'm gonna let that one ride because it's so far, uh, no, I'll dust some up in here. So a little needs to be dusted up in there, but that's the gist of it. You just dust the powder all over it and make sure you got a ground and then we'll get these things in the oven. Um, I'm gonna put you on time-lapse to do these other three, get powder on everything and then we'll get it in the oven and bake it.
our first uh, pieces uh, straight out the oven. Uh, we're gonna let them cool overnight and I'm actually gonna let them cure overnight and everything. And then I'm gonna actually come back and pick them up in the morning. So not looking bad right now at first glance. Um, you know, they have a nice texture to them, but of course we can't see much uh, in this poor shop light. So I'll definitely show y'all in the sun. But that is how they're looking right out the oven. That's the first batch. We got one more batch we're running and then I will show y'all what they're done in the sunlight. For your pieces, you're actually gonna do the Harbor Freight instructions say to do around uh, between 300 degrees and 500 degrees on um, the bake cycle and then for about 15 minutes for small parts. So I bake in mine for 20 minutes. Um, if you read the instructions, it says if you have bigger parts, bake it longer. There's uh, charts to break stuff down, all that. But the rule of thumb that I've always used on my seat brackets and now on these is I'm always doing... Um, 400 degrees I think that's what I set oven on 400 degrees and um, I'm doing 20 minutes so just a little extra and they look absolutely amazing and I'll show you what they look like in the Sun but that's read your chart it breaks everything down for you read your instructions that come with your Harbor Freight uh, powder coat gun and you know whenever you do first get these don't bump them don't touch them well you know when you got the powder spraying on them and you're taking them to your oven don't um, don't bump them against anything don't hit them don't touch them you know you need to let the powder just stay on them and uh, get through the bake cycle and then make sure you don't burn yourself use caution because you're baking these things at 400 degrees so they're gonna be hot when they come out trust me all right so here's our um, powder powder coated support pieces so they look pretty good they got some dust on them you know and then you can see these imperfections and it almost looks like contamination so if somebody knows what that is let me know because i don't know anything about powder coating um i'm just learn as i go and i was running low on powder so some of those i can't i didn't get as thick as i probably should but i mean they turned out uh really good so they have a nice satin black that's the color that i chose and then let's see here that one i was running low so i didn't get it 100 percent down there in the groove if you can see it which it don't matter these are going to go up underneath the project we're putting them on up underneath you know the wing there's another one okay so you can see but they go like this so what you'll see is this and you'll see this like this so you're not really going to see that but yeah they turned out uh pretty good so i'm happy with them so there's what you can do you know with a basic harbor freight powder coater and you don't have to be an expert because i'm nowhere near an expert i'm sure there's tons of groups and information out there on how to improve the project i just wanted to kind of go over with y'all uh how i do the powder coating you know and and what you can do with it and how you can make uh you know make it look like i said they have some some flaws but it's just not it's not that big of a deal to me they look really good for what for what i'm using them for so here's our powder coated parts installed as you can see they turned out really good against the painted parts and against the satin uh black uh, tail light panel and i painted this tail light panel these parts are powder coat so um i think it looks good so these bolts that bolt is just temporary i ran short on this project but that's what it looks like whenever all the correct allen head bolts are installed but I think it looks amazing. So hopefully this uh, will help you on your powder coating project and uh, you can do some small projects at your house. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks y'all.